has been very keen to get involved right from the start. He's been very aggressive. It's been a, a fine, fine Pan American Games for Verde. The 21-year-old Mexican has had victories over Omari Jones, which was impressive. Angel Lanos from Puerto Rico and his battle against Eduardo Beckford of Panama. In the semi-final yesterday was top draw. Rodriguez isn't standing back here. Rodriguez beat Junior Patanki, a difficult opponent, and Joel Mafuad. So both have had difficult routes to this final. They have deserved their gold medal place. They've deserved their place in Paris. Good right coming in, and that will be a count. Verde disagrees, little shake of the head, but because he wasn't defending himself, the count comes in. He won't stop the Mexican going forward. He has been brave, he has taken risks. One of those risks that was backfired on him in this first round. Mexico have only ever won eight gold medals in Pan American Games history. Verde, 21, anticipating being round for a, a couple more games at least. Throwing plenty of uh, bombs, but easily being picked up by the Ecuadorian. Catching them on the gloves. That standing count hasn't affected uh, Marco Verde coming forward. Tags the Ecuadorian with a right, but when you've been knocked down, it uh, always counts against you, of course, in the judges' reckoning. Stood his ground, uppercut into the body. Rodriguez felt it, but can cover up. How much damage did that knockdown do? Or oh, that standing count, rather. Did that do for Verde's chances of gold? He disagreed with the referees, but the referee's been pretty strict right the way through. A little knock, a frustrated Verde. Heads back to sit down with his seconds. Should have put that knock behind him. That's the moment. He was unguarded, the referee stepping in for the protection of the boxers.
nonetheless, it's still a split decision that round. Verde, even though he had the standing count, did enough to earn the vote from three of the judges. That's fair enough. He was aggressive. Fair enough. Slightly surprising, but nonetheless... He has been proactive this whole tournament as Marco in the red. Rodriguez has had a similar style. Looks to counter. Hits his mark pretty well. But he hasn't come across somebody as aggressive as Marco Verdi has been throughout this tournament and is generally. 21-year-old from Sinaloa. Keeps firing that big right in. He's caught the body a few times. Rodriguez pushed over. Ooh, nearly caught with a, a left as he came forward. Losing his balance a little bit, Rodriguez. Always a sign that you're pushing it a little bit too much. Oh, but he's tagged his man. Again, it's a stumble. No count this time. He did catch him. But what Verde caught himself. Excellent opening minute to that second round. So much going on. Two big shots from both boxers. The Mexican in the red. Looks for that big left uppercut whenever he possibly can. Free Alicia wants the Mexicans to keep on and uh, keep their head up. Rodriguez now tries to chase uh, Verde around the, the ring. Oof, he's so close to catching with those left uppers. He sets it up beautifully. He hasn't connected properly yet, but surely it's a matter of time, particularly if Rodriguez continues to come in a little bit off balance. There's that big left uppercut attempted once again. One minute left in a, a very, very good round. Verde in the red. Has the judges behind him. Three to two at the end of the first. Tangled up just at the moment, but this has been a, a contest where both men have tried to deliver big shots. That time it was Rodriguez coming forward. And then he's caught with a 1-2 from Verde. Final 10 seconds in which Rodriguez has had his moments. And this is another one right at the end. But Verde... Had the lead. This has the potential to be all square going into the final, final round. Just swapping punches. That big left is the, is the dangerous one as far as Verde is. There's where he catches him. It's a glancing blow. Well, three judges have Verde with uh, two rounds. All ten, uh, sorry, all five voted Verde taking that second round. So three have the Mexican, two rounds up. The other two have this all square. Mexico, eight gold medals in Pan-American Games history. He's always looking to release that. Uh, that left is Verde. He's very agile. He looks like he might be a little bit ungainly. But very agile. Good.
Good legs, good footwork. The Ecuadorian trying to force the pace a little bit, possibly feeling that he's behind with the judges. Rodriguez had a fine week, but looks like he's just come up against a, a battler who wants it a little bit more. And we can expect a lot more from Marco Verdi over the years. Seeing plenty of glove, but that one sneaked through. Rodriguez has got to throw caution to the wind. He's got to attack. He's behind on the points significantly. He needs a, a knockout blow or well, somehow to get another stoppage. He's forced the standing count in the first round, of course, Rodriguez. But Verde has uh, shrugged that one off. And it looks like, despite that standing count, Marco Verde is going to be the gold medalist in this men's 57 kg. Sorry, about 71 kg. That was a bit light. The win against uh, Amari Jones in the quarterfinals told us that this was a, a good boxer. And he's followed that through. Eduardo Beckford seen off in the semi-finals. And now Jose Rodriguez. Best efforts from Rodriguez. But the Ecuadorian comes into the final 20 seconds. Knowing, I think, in his bones that the Mexican has probably done enough to take this. Of course, it up to the judges. But another combination. And that's the standing count. And that's beautifully done by Marco Verde. It's the exclamation mark on an excellent performance. Second remaining. A hug of acknowledgement from two good athletes. It will go to the judges. The third day was leading by on three judges scorecards by two rounds and then he produced a, a, a very good performance in that third round so looking very very good for the 21 year old